First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to pay tribute to my son. Tyree was a beautiful person. And for this to happen to him, it's just unimaginable. I, I promise you the only thing that's keeping me going is the fact that I really truly believe my son was sitting here on an assignment yes, from God. Yes, I just need whatever that George Floyd bill we needed passed. Yeah. Yes. We need to take some action because there should be no other child that should suffer the way my son and all the other parents here have lost their children. We need to get that bill passed. Amen. And because if we don't, that blood, the next child that dies, that blood is going to be on their hands. Yeah. yeah. Mothers around the world, when their babies are born, pray to God. When they hold that child, that that body and that life will be safe for the rest of his life. Yet we have a mother and a father who mourn the life of a young man who should be here today. This is a family that lost their son and their brother through an act of violence at the hands and the feet of people who had been charged with keeping them safe. This violent act was not in pursuit of public safety. It was not in the interest of keeping the public safe because one must ask, was not it in the interest of keeping the public safe that Tyree Nichols would be with us here today? I was as a senator, as a United States Senator, a co-author of the original George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. And as Vice President of the United States, we demand that Congress pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. Joe Biden will sign it. And we should not delay and we will not be denied. It is non-negotiable.